Old Spice. Yeah, because I use men's deodorant. I really do. Not stinking cupcakes, but like stinking good cupcakes. It's so tiny. Hey guys, welcome back. So got another long overdue empties video for y'all today. Look how organized I got. I even tried to like group things and just get organized before the video, but still it's long overdue. So I'm gonna have to like blow through these, give you some quick reviews on these things, tell you if I would repurchase them, what I think about them and just show you my trash. So let's get to it. A lip gloss Leslie empties video would not be complete without a crap ton of my Garnier Fructi style full and plush volume hairspray. I always go through a lot of this. I feel like hairspray is the one thing that like I couldn't live without for my hair. If I could only use one thing on my hair of all styling things, it would have to be hairspray because I feel like it gives me texture, it holds, it gives me volume. I just like hairspray. <laughs> and this is my favorite because it's super affordable, smells nice. Um, it's usually around three to four dollars. So crazy affordable, smells really yummy, like fruity. And it doesn't have like crazy crunchy hold. It holds your style, but it doesn't, it doesn't weigh it down, doesn't make it sticky. It's just a really good hairspray. I went through a lot of dry shampoo. So I have several Batiste, I have, um, this one is Coconut and Exotic Tropical, so I have a couple of those. And then I have the Fruity and Cheeky Cherry. I love both of these. Actually, these are my two favorites. So if one is out of stock, I get the other one. If I have the choice between the two, maybe the Tropical. But sometimes I just kind of like go back and forth. I love them both. This is one of my favorite dry shampoos. Um, it's pretty, I would say it's one of the most intense ones in that when you spray it on your hair, it's like, whoa like not that your hair gets weird but it's just it really gives that white cast really quickly really easily but it cleans your hair really well so it's one of my favorites um price wise it's great so yes a couple of other favorites here this is the bumble and bumble bb preta powder it is equal parts dry shampoo style extender and volume in a pinch love this stuff it really was like a game changer for me to be able to not wash my hair as often and just hopefully save my hair from more heat. So love this stuff, it works really well. I've got several of these Garnier Fructis Volume Extend Instant Body Fire Dry Shampoo. This is awesome, I love this stuff. I have three of these. Um, this is so good, like it just, sometimes I feel like my hair looks better on third day, on the third day, than it does when I wash it. I really do, because I feel like it has better volume, just more texture and volume to it. So, and this, it's usually the weeks that I'm using this more. So love this stuff. A few randoms here. This is the Dry Bar Triple Sec 3-in-1. Says texturizes, amplifies, and refreshes. So this isn't technically their dry shampoo. It's sort of like a refresher, bodifier, texturizer sort of a product. I do like it. I love the way it smells, but sometimes it can give me a headache. So I kind of have to be careful with using it, but I do like that, but it's not my favorite. This is the Amika Per Cup Dry Shampoo. I like this too. This smells amazing. Yeah, really yummy. Um, this works well. Really the only negative I have to say about it is that it's higher priced. This is the, pst, the original formula on the go instant dry shampoo. I liked this okay, but it doesn't work nearly as well as on my hair um, as the Batiste and the Fructis, Garnier Fructis ones. I like those better than this one. And then this is the Amica Silken Up Dry Conditioner. I really like this stuff because, you know, sometimes when you use dry shampoo, it works really well to soak up the oil on your roots, but then sometimes your ends get really dry, at least mine do. So I really do like this stuff. Let me know if you have like a good dry conditioner from the drugstore, like a more affordable one because I don't know of one, but I'm sure there's one out there. So if you have a good dry conditioner at the drugstore that you like, let me know. I would love to try that. And then this is my favorite mousse. It has a hair on it. That's disgusting. This is the Not Your Mother's Whip It Up Cream Styling Mousse. Love this stuff. I originally purchased it forever ago because of the scent, because it smells like stinking cupcakes. Not stinking cupcakes, but like stinking good cupcakes. That's what it smells like. Smells amazing. 
So I bought it originally for that reason, but I actually love the way it works on my hair. I love that it's like a creamy texture. It doesn't make my hair feel sticky and weird. It just, but it doesn't weigh down my hair. Holds volume, but just feels nice in my hair. I like how it makes my hair feel because some mousse makes my hair feel sticky and nasty and that don't make my hair feel sticky and nasty. And then I have a couple of things from Herbal Essences. This is the Body Envy Volumizing Shampoo and this is the Honey I'm Strong Strengthening Conditioner. I thought this was okay, worked pretty well, smelled pretty good. Um, I really do like this conditioner. I purchased this several times and I don't really know why I like it so much. It smells good um, and I feel like it conditions my hair really well and helps me like be able to comb through it later. So I like how it does that, but it doesn't weigh down my hair. So I really like that. And this is the John Frieda Sheer Blonde Highlight Activating Enhancing Shampoo. I've mentioned this a bajillion times because I've bought this and used this a bajillion times. I just like it. I feel like it revives my hair because, you know, when you have blonde hair, sometimes products can build up and make your hair look darker or just different. So I feel like this brings back my blonde. Use up a Bath and Body Works shower gel in pink chiffon. I love their shower gels. I think they smell nice. Pink chiffon's a nice one. I used up my Old Spice. Yeah, because I use men's deodorant. I really do. This is the Old Spice Bear Glove deodorant. And the reason I use this is because it doesn't smell super mannish, but um, it doesn't have any perspirant in it. And I feel like this works better than like natural kind of other things that I've tried. So I try to find a guy's deodorant that doesn't smell like a guy. And I feel like this is kind of a good option. Um, this is the, this is a baby shampoo. I think this is from Walmart. It says parents choice. I use this to clean my brushes. Works great, super affordable. Love this. This is my Sally Hansen Airbrush Legs Leg Makeup. I have this in light. What I like to do is put on lotion first, get my legs hydrated, and then just use the tiniest little bit of this. I love it so much. Smooths everything out. It will transfer a little bit, especially on light colored clothing. So be careful, use less, that'll help with it. But it's just great. I mean, it just smooths everything. I love it, yes. And then this is the Clinique Take the Day Off Makeup Remover for Lids, Lashes, and Lips. This works well. I was using this forever when we were traveling and I finally used it up. It's good. And then I used up the Bath and Body Works pocket. What is this? Pocket back. Yeah. Pocket bacterial, antibacterial, whatever. Pocket back, pretty in pink. This smelled delicious. Oh my gosh. So good. I wish I would have bought like 50 of these. It smells like straight up vanilla extract. Oh my gosh, so yummy. Good old Origins Checks and Balances Frothy Face Wash. This is my go-to, I love it, can't be without it. I love it because it foams up really well, takes off all my makeup and washes my skin without over drying it, so I love that. This is the Glam Glow Gravity Mud Firming Treatment. I really like this, you look like the Tin Man when you use it. Um, I also like it because I can actually get it off my face. Sometimes with the peel off masks, like I get a little freaked out because I like can't get it off my face and I can actually get this off my face. So I like it for that reason too. This is the Fresh Black Tea Age Defy Eye Concentrate. Really nice eye cream, worked well, very hydrating. I like that. Um, I don't know that I would purchase it again. This is probably a not purchase it again because it was like 80 something dollars. No, I got it in gratis from Sephora and I did like it but I don't wanna pay that much for an eye cream. Um, a couple of moisturizers from Origins. This is the Ginseng Energy Boosting Moisturizer. Really like this. It's a nice kind of like light gel sort of a moisturizer. So this one is great, it smells nice. This is the High Potency Nitamins Mineral Enriched Renewal Cream. This is great. It's just a really nice hydrating overnight sort of a cream without feeling crazy heavy or cakey. Um, it just doesn't feel yucky on your skin. You know what I mean? It feels hydrating. I feel like my skin does look better the next morning. So that's a great, just good, never failure sort of a night cream. And then my beloved 
Josie Marin 100% Pure Argan Oil. Love this. This is my, my new favorite skincare product. It just does amazing things. Like, I don't know, I felt like there was a huge difference in my skin once I started using this. It's amazing, it's so good. Bunch of different mascaras, so some ones that I really didn't like very much. This is the CoverGirl Plumpify Blast Pro. Not all that impressed with that one and it was kind of expensive. This is the Maybelline The Falsies Push Up Drama. Not super impressed with this one other than the packaging is really pretty, but I don't feel like it did very many things for my lashes. It was just kind of not all that great. I like these pretty well. This is the Maybelline The Colossal Chaotic Lash Volume Express. This does give you some kind of like crazy lashes. I do have a review on this one. Um, it wasn't horrible, but I wouldn't repurchase it. This is the Benefit Roller Lash. This really does help to kind of curl your lashes. I love the packaging. It's adorable. Um, so I like this pretty well. It's not like a go-to mascara for me, but it's a pretty nice one, especially if you're looking for kind of fluttery curled lashes. I think that would be a good one. Love this one. This is the Benefit Their Real Mascara. This gives a lot of volume. Um, the wand can kind of be a little pokey, so especially like the little end thingies. So kind of have to be a little bit careful when I use it, but it gives crazy volume and doesn't really smudge on me, which is a big deal. This is the Jordana Best Lash Extreme Volumizing Mascara. This is great and crazy affordable, like $3. It's awesome. And then two of my holy grails. This is the CoverGirl. Um, it's all worn off. This one, I can't remember the name of it. Oh my gosh, Clump Crusher. Love this one. Really does crush those clumps. It really does. This is the, the Super Sizer from CoverGirl. Love this one too. Crazy volume, nice length, just gives you va va voom lashes. Can get a little bit clumpy, but those are the kind of mascaras I like. You just have to be a little bit careful during application, but it's awesome. A couple of concealers that I used up. First off is the Wet n Wild Illuminati Highlighting and Concealing Pen. I liked this. I think it concealed well, but did highlight. Thought it was nice. This is the Maybelline Dream Lumi Concealer. I use it in Ivory. The other one from Wet n Wild was in Ivory Into You. Love this one. This one's a go-to for me. Very highlighting and just covers really well without um, getting like textury and weird. It has a really nice texture to it where it just is very smooth and blends into the skin nicely. This is the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. I have this one in Fair, which is a little bit light for me, but I like this one a lot. I feel like this is very similar to the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in texture and also kind of like the NYX HD where they just can be a go-to, like do-it-all sort of concealer. Really great, really affordable. A couple of liners. I can't read the name of this one anymore because it's so tiny, but this is one of the Urban Decay 24-7 ones, but this is one of the matte ones and this is in Black Velvet. One of the most long wearing liners I've ever used, but specifically the matte ones. I don't find the other 24 sevens to be as long wearing, but this one stays put. It's awesome. This is the Jane water resistant eyeliner. This is in brown. I thought this was pretty good, especially um, for being a drugstore option. I liked it pretty well, but Jane is harder to find now. So that's kind of a bummer, but I did like this liner. Um, I used up my Benefit Gimme Brow. I like this, but I don't like it by itself. By itself, um, it just doesn't really, do, it doesn't give enough um, structure to my lashes. You know what I mean? Like I kind of need to fill in certain areas and this really doesn't do that, but it does help to set the brow and help kind of give volume um, on the hairs that you have. So I think if you just use it in conjunction with something else, which is what I do, I think it works well, but by itself, it's a little too unstructured. Then I used up my Wet n Wild. Um, this is the Fergie eyeshadow primer. Love this. Now they just have the regular one. It doesn't say Fergie and it's not black. It's in a white tube. I love it. Works just as well as any high-end um, eyeshadow primer I've ever used. All right, guys, so that wraps up this long overdue empties video. So I hope that you really enjoyed it. Please send a thumbs up if you did, and let me know down below if you have any questions for me. Let me know if you have a favorite dry conditioner from the drugstore. I would love to know that. Please subscribe to my channel if you're not already, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!